Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Conley. What did you say? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I am so excited to do another story about frogs. Yesterday, I got to sing a song about five green and speckled frogs. And today, I'd like to do a little story about a teeny weeny tadpole who wants to grow up and be a leaping frog like his mom. And after we did the story, I thought it'd be so fun to make our own frog. Like this. See him? It's really simple, easy craft. And moms and dads, you probably have all the supplies at your house. So let's get started with our story first. It's called A Teeny Weeny Tadpole by Sheridan King. Do you remember I said... Yesterday I told you a tadpole is a baby frog, and this is him right here. He's a baby frog. The teeny weeny tadpole swam in and out of the lily pads. Splish, splash. Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mommy Frog. It's such a nice day for splashing and leaping. There's Mommy Frog. Mommy Frog jumped high into the air. Boing! And she landed with a plop, flippity plop, right on a lily pad. I can't do that, said the teeny weeny tadpole as he tried to leap onto the lily pad. All he managed to do was splish and splash. Look how small he is. Mom, why can't I jump like you? asked the teeny weeny tadpole. Oh, you will, tadpole, said Mommy Frog. Just keep splishing and splashing. The teeny weeny tadpole swam off downstream. Be careful, tadpole, said Mommy. Look out for the big bad fish. So off he went. The teeny weeny tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash among the water lilies. He looked up and he saw a woolly face and it had a smudge nose. Hello, said tadpole. Who are you? I'm lamb, said the woolly faced animal. Let's see if he is. Ah, look, that is a lamb. Can you jump? asked the tadpole. You bet, said the lamb. Watch this. You think he can jump? Let's find out. Mm, boing! Lamb jumped high into the air. Spriggity sprung. He landed with a boing. Oh, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. You will, said tadpole. You will, Tadpole, said Lamb. Soon you will. A few days later, Teeny Weeny Tadpole paddled downstream to where the violets, those are purple flowers, tickled his tummy. He looked up and he saw, let's see if we can guess what this is, a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he had ever seen. Did you guess it's a rabbit? Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm a rabbit, said the twitchy-nosed animal. Can you twitch your nose? Can you jump? asked Tadpole. <laughs> Can I jump? said Rabbit. Watch this. Boing! Rabbit jumped high into the air. Jumpity jump, Rabbit landed with a thump. Wow, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, Tadpole, said Rabbit. Very soon you will. Okay, well, let's see what happens next. Several days later, 
teeny weeny tadpole. Can you see him here? He swam out to where the tall grass waved in the wind and he saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hmm. I wonder who he saw. Let's see. Do you know what that's called? Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm a grasshopper, said the buggy-eyed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. <laughs> of course, said Grasshopper. Watch this. Boing! Grasshopper jumped high into the air. Hippity hop! Grasshopper landed with a bump. Whoa, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole, said Grasshopper. Very soon you will. If you can see here, look at tadpole. He looks like he got a little bit bigger to me from the very first page. The next time, Teeny Weeny Tadpole went exploring. He swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became still. Tadpole looked up and down and saw a pair of huge rubbery lips. I wonder who that is. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery lipped creature. I'm the big bad fish, and I eat tadpoles. Oh no, what's going to happen? The big bad fish chased teeny weeny tadpole up and down and in and out of the weeds, getting closer and closer until the teeny weeny tadpole leaped high into the air, higher than the lamb, higher than the rabbit, higher than the grasshopper. He leaped, boing, all the way home. Look, mommy, said the tadpole, I can jump just like you. His mother smiled proudly. Of course you can, my little frog. The end. Did you notice that the tadpole started out very small and he got bigger every time he swam away and met a different animal? Let's look. Here he was starting out. He was tiny, see his tail? And then, let's see, I saw him when he left. He was even a little bigger. And then, when he got to see the rabbit, do you see how much longer his tail is? And he grew two legs. He was growing. And then, when he got to see the grasshopper, he got very long. His legs are getting stronger. Still didn't lose his tail. And what happened when he met the fish? Do you see? He turned into a frog. And I'm glad the big bad fish didn't eat him up. I'm glad he escaped. I thought we can make our own little frog and it's really simple and easy. If you have a paper plate in your house, that's what you need. You need this color crayon. Do you know what color crayon that is? Green, right? A green crayon. Then we need some red crayon and black crayon. Maybe you have a pair of safety scissors. If you can't cut, your mom or dad can help you cut. The first thing we have to do though is to take our paper plate. Do you know what shape that is? Circle, right. 
and we only need half of the plate. So we're going to take it and fold it in half. Okay, fold it in half. And then we're going to color only one half of the plate green. So it will be the green face of your frock. So I need you to get your crayon and put your plate down and start coloring all the white spots on your plate. Ready? I'm going to start and moving my hand back and forth and I'm covering all the white spots and it might take a little time but it's going to look so cute when he's done and you're going to keep coloring. Let me show you how far I got. Still have more to do. Right? I colored this whole part in and now I'm on the bumpy ridges. Those are a little harder, but you know what? Keep going. You can do it. Do you hear the noise it's making? What? <laughs> I'm moving my hand back and forth. Are you doing the same thing? You are good. That's how we make the color turn green by using our crayon on all the white spots, right? Coloring, coloring green. Okay. Are you done yet? If you're not, take your time. Don't worry. No rush. Color it all green. Once you finish coloring it all green, maybe mommy or daddy can just do this and put a little staple in it. You can press down to make sure that it doesn't open up. Okay. Now we need to make some eyes for our frog. And yesterday I told you that frogs' eyes are bulging. That means they're big and they're round. So I went looking around my house for something round. I found a top to a bottle top. And I also found a Dixie cup that's round. Okay, two circles, round. So I'm gonna use this one. And moms and dads, you can help with this. You're gonna take a piece of white printer paper and we're going to put our circle here. And maybe you can hold your finger on it for mommy or you can try to do it yourself. You're going to trace around your circle. I have to turn my pen on. I'm going to hold it down and go around. There's one. How many eyes do I need? Two eyes. Okay. And I'm going to go around again. And if you're a big kid, you probably could do this all by yourself. My pen is running out of ink. Now, I have two circles. Can you see that? They're a little light. I'm going to use my safety scissors to cut my circle. But holding the whole piece of paper, that's a lot to hold. So I'm just going to cut it and make it smaller. There you go. And now we're going to cut our circles out. Now you can try this and go with your finger, thumb on top two fingers or three fingers if it fits on the bottom and you're going to hold your scissors with your thumb facing the ceiling right see my thumb is on top and I keep my elbow in and I cut around my circle open closing open closing and try your best that's all you can do I have one circle now I'm going to cut my other circle. That's, I know you can't see it, but it's there. And see where my finger is on the top? And I'm cutting my circle around and around, making my second eye for my froggy. Okay. Two circles. Now, I have to do eyeballs. 
I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to do a circle right in the middle. But you have to lean on something to do that. I'm going to make it really dark and go around. There's one. Let's do it for the next one. Go all the way around. Done. Oh, now let's glue on his bulging eyes. So I don't want to put it down here. I want it to stick up a little. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put some glue right at the edge of where I was coloring green. I'm going to make two spots. I do one here. I did one here. Okay, got the eyes. Now I need my red crayon to do three things. I'm going to make a little nose. I have a happy frog, so I'm going to make a smile. And then I'm going to make his tongue. Because if you remember, I told you yesterday that frogs love to use their sticky tongue to catch bugs. So we're going to make a tongue for our frog. So first thing I'm going to do, you can do this, I bet you're really good at making a nose and making a smile. It's like a half a circle. I'm going to make a smile. And now, from my paper where I cut my eye out, I'm going to cut a rectangle shape. It doesn't have to be straight, it's okay. And I'm gonna color it red. Okay, are you coloring? Color, 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 color. I'm coloring it red, I'm covering all the white spots. Oh, it's looking like a tongue, it sure is. Ta-da! And now, I'm going to glue it to his mouth. And if you want, you can fold it in and out and in and out. You can make his tongue like that. And I'm going to take my glue, put a little glue on that edge and stick it right on his mouth. Oh, I fell off. I didn't put enough glue on. There we go. And there's your frog. Nice and easy, right? Bye guys, I hope you have a great day.